Glory to God. I tell you, that's amazing. God's so wonderfully good, wonderfully blessing us. I tell you, God will take you through all the fires. He'll be there for you. He'll be there with you. He'll be there when the fire is over and when you're out on the other side. God's a wonderful God, and He loves His children. He loves His people. He's got the very best in store for us, not only in heaven whenever we leave this world, but while we're here. I think there's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. While you're a child of God, you ought to praise the Lord and worship Him. Yeah. We may not have a tomorrow, so today we ought to worship Him just like that this might be our last yeah. opportunity and privilege. I'm so honored to be the pastor of this fine and great church and these wonderful people. My son-in-law, Brother Darren Lord on the piano, Brother Don Frederick on the bass, Hal Mills, lead singer, and all of our choir, the, yeah. two, the two young ones. I've got to say just a little bit about them. Those are my two grandgirls, yeah. Ashton and Madison, and they're such a blessing to us. And, and Teresa and, and Betty and Charlotte, we're glad. We're kind of low tonight because of the weather. But I tell you, you can't tell it when you get out in here. God's just still moving, and His glory is still falling. He's a wonderful God. No matter what the weather does, He's still on His throne. He's still just as much real today as He ever was. If you'll have your Bibles, or if you'd like to follow me at a later date, I want to bring a message tonight entitled, When God Shows Up. I tell you, it's so wonderful when God shows up. Yeah. And when we look at the passage of Scripture over in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38, for time's sake, one verse, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering, sacrifice, and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Yeah. That's God. Yeah. Let's go to him in prayer and ask him to bless us and honor us as the word goes out around this land and country. Father, we love you and thank you. We pray, Father, that you'll show up again. We thank you for the songs, the prayers, the joys, the trip, and the privileges that you've given us. Thank you for the day in which that we've been part of. Father, I ask you to honor your word once again. May it find a lodging place within the hearts of all of your people around our land and country by the way of internet or radio or TV. Father, I pray that they may come to a point in their life to know that if they have a need, God has an answer. If they have a desire, God can fulfill it. If they have a place in their life that is void, that God will honor them and fill it up with His glory if they'll only trust Him. Thank you, Father, for what you do, for what you've done. In the strong, high, holy name of Jesus, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. It's such a privilege as we look at the Word of God. This is a wonderful passage about the man of God. You see, God's man had just came through one of the greatest times of his life. And he was at a turning point in which that all of the evil of the world had persisted against him. And it seemed to me that it was overwhelming, just like it is in our day and time. And every time that he seemed to try to get up, the devil was trying to bring them back down. And every time the children of God would be blessed, they were going farther away. And the devil would try his very best to destroy and discredit the God work of God. And yet God was to you alive and well. Sometimes we don't realize how well God is. I tell you, God can heal. God can save. God can bless. God can honor you. God can do all things for you because he's the great God. I am. And I'm so thankful that God honored this man of God, the man Elijah. He had asked the prophets of Baal when he went to him. He said, we'll put out the sacrifice and we'll put it on the altar. And the one who answers with fire, yeah. he said, he's God. And he said, there is none other besides that God. And there he sat 
out there they put all their sacrifices. They built their altar. They placed the sacrifice on it just like the Word of God said and just as real as real could be. The prophets of Baal began to cry out to their God and they got no answer. They began to cry out and ask him why that he wasn't answering. And the man of God, he must have mocked them a little bit according to the Word of God. He said, was he asleep? Is your God asleep? Or is he on vacation? You know where your God's at? But I want you to know, he said he hasn't answered with fire. But it, to make it more difficult, he said, go get the barrels of water. And he said, wet down the sacrifice and wet down the wood and dig a trench around it. And he said he had so much that it filled the altar and it covered all around and it licked all around the trench. And there the man of God was. He alone with all of those prophets of Baal, I want you to know, you're never alone when God on your side. You're still the majority in this world. I want you to know when God shows up, he'll show out. He's not ashamed, by the way. In the days of the world, in the beginning of time, whenever that there was a time, whenever that lot was down there and the fire was going to come and God sent his, prophet, his messengers down to Abram,